Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming at you guys with a brand new Let's Play. Today we'll be starting Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. So with this, let's start. We'll be doing all the extra stuff later on, so let's start a game. One player. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing two player. I'm sorry. And we'll just be going as NS. Hey, it's Funky. Looking good there, Funky the monkey. Whoa, dude, come on in and join me. The waves are excellent. Well, well, what do you think you're doing sitting around all day? They won't get much of a game out of this, will they? I thought you were supposed to be a big star. Even video game heroes get time off. I never did. Whisking up maidens and throwing barrels around seven days a week, I was. That's how I got where I am today, you know. Hard work, none of this lazing around on a beach. Why don't you go off and pester Diddy or something? Leave me in the peace for once. <laughs> He's off somewhere with that girlfriend of his, but still, I can see when I'm not wanted. You never wanted, Crank. You never were. Love the Hawaiian music here, though. Uh-oh. I'll make sure TK never messes around with my plans again. You lot, go down to TK Island and bring that pesky primate to me. Sure, boss. No worries. Uh-oh. Clingers! It's rope, so they're gonna be clingers. Yep, here they come. Ah! You are never going to see your friends or DK Island again. Awahaha! We just wait for Cranky. Look, a note. Read it then. Hurry up, Cranky. What does it say? Give me a chance. I'm not as quick as I used to be. It says. Ah ha! We have got the big monkey. If you want him back, you scurvy dogs, you'll have to hand over the banana hard, Captain K. Rule. I thought we'd seen the last of that old rascal. Well, I suppose we better give him the bananas, hadn't we? After all we did to get them back last time? DK would go crazy if he lost his horde again. Urgh, this story's even worse than Donkey Kong Countries! They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel this time. Have you got any ideas how to get DK back? Let's go over to Crocodile Isle and rescue DK. I'm sure Spit not gonna do it. Not that I'm past my prime. Mind you, I could still do a better job than the rest of you put together. But I wouldn't be seen dead in the game that scrolls and has bonus levels and end bosses. Wait till tomorrow and we will all go. No, we must go now and guard will take us. We will meet you there. Come and see us if you need any help. Yay! We're going to DK or DK Al Crocodile call up Crocodile 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 Land Gangplank Galleon. I'm using a new um, uh, Xbox One controller here to do everything, so hopefully it works. It seems to be pretty smooth with the whole controlling. And this note here literally just says the exact same thing Ooh, banana coin. As the letter at the beginning said. In the original game there was no like whole dialogue thing. Collect under bananas to get a life. Uh walk using the D-pad, roll using B while holding down the D-pad, A to jump. Um uh, Banana coins are used to buy information, slash save your game in the original game. DK barrels have your partner, and yada yada yada. We've seen Donkey Kong Country 3 on my channel. It's time to do Donkey Kong Country 2. We're, do we're doing them in reverse order. How fun is that? Now, what are you doing? Alright, let's continue on. Hey, Neek. How you doing? 
Neek the rat. Like, I remember all the uh, enemies in this. Yeah, so you push R to grab your partner, throw them up. These gold feathers, there's one in every level. Be on the lookout for them. There's also one DK coin per level. What? How did you manage that, Diddy? I don't know how he managed it. Dixie has her whole glide ability like she does in Donkey Kong Country 3. So, literally, it's a combination of Donkey Kong Country 1 and 3, pretty much. So they don't have a partner to throw up and smash into the ground. I always like that concept. Uh, before you go up there, there's a banana coin down here. If you want to grab it, otherwise you can... Oh my god. You can just jump up here. Uh, these are called creme coins. They're used for the Lost World in this game. Kind of obvious. Donkey Kong Country 1's the only one that didn't really have a Lost World. Donkey Kong Country 1's a lot different, though, than these previous. Or, like, these future installments of previous installments. And I just hold down R to do a supercharge and charge through this little door. And you will get to the bonus. Destroy them all. So, like in, previ like in the uh, previous Let's Play, we just kill them all like this. Boom, boom, boom. And then we just continue on. You'll see this game once every Sunday. This game will be our Sunday game. And then you just jump on this to end the level. So, pretty simple. At least in my opinion it is. Anyways, with that we can now go on... Wait, did I get the DK coin? I swear I got the DK coin, right? Yeah, okay, I'm like, if there's an exclamation mark, then you've completed everything. If there's a uh, DK coin and feather, well then, that's kind of obvious what you just did there. And there's a bonus over here. So, let's go find the creme coin. But you just have to climb some ropes. That's not difficult at all. Actually, it's, it's seriously not. It's really easy. Okay. Where do we go from here? Oh, there's the letter K. Man, it looks windy out here. Wait, how is it even this windy? We're not even we're not even sailing. I have some questions. Why is it so windy? It's awfully cloudy too. I'm not gonna lie on that one either. Hey, there's the gold feather. The gold feathers are just randomly placed in the game. Like they they're in places where there was nothing originally in like the uh, uh, SNES version. I will be playing a lot more SNES games down the road instead of just Game Boy and uh, PlayStation 3 slash 1 and 2, but that'll, it'll be a while before I do that because I have a few projects I want to do, and this is only one of them. This is like a side project. Yay, to a balloon! Green balloons are worth two lives, red balloons are worth one life, and red balloons are red balloons. Blue balloons are worth three. I can't believe I fell down there. And I never fall down there. Well, these cannonballs actually lead you to bonuses. So remember to bring it with you. And just go to the cannon and go kaboom! Another destroy them all. Don't mind if I do. Hey, it's it's clingers. If you time this right, you can actually destroy all of them right here. Darn it, I mistimed it just a bit. I'll just wait for him to come down. We have plenty of time. And there we go! Leave in Donkey Kong Country 2, there's all just like Donkey Kong Country 3, there's always two bonuses. The only game that I believe is different, other than like the Donkey Kong Land series, is Donkey Kong Country 1. Where a level could have no bonuses or could have like three or four. I believe like Orangutan get like, yeah. Wait a minute. Never mind, this one has three bonuses, so pardon me. Never mind, the only game that actually has a set amount of bonuses is Donkey Kong Country 2. Or, I mean, Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country 3. Or Dixie's Double Trouble, depending on what version you're playing. We played the Game Boy version. I will be playing the um, SNES versions down the road, but you probably won't see them for a few years. Or a year or two. Bananas. In the original game, if you fall down here, you automatically get a life, so that's a little bit of a bummer that you don't get it now. Okay, and with that, we can go to the next level. Okay, that's level one. Why'd you go that way? Uh, just push down. 
Cranky will just give you useful information because he's right here. Anyways, the next level is Gangplank Galley. Ah, uh, easy thing. Bonus, right here. Find the Kerm Corner. I know for this one, we just have to throw chests at the bee. Hey bee, how you doing? Oh look, the creme coin. I wonder if I have time to grab everything else. Probably shouldn't have risked that. The original game, you don't get banana bunches. You get just single banana, so it's really honestly not worthwhile to do it. Now, we just do this. There's the bananas, the DK coin, and some more bananas. Also, it's becoming sunset. Bananas! My favorite thing in the world. I actually really do enjoy eating bananas. They're a great source of potassium. I have seriously got to lose weight, but we're living on like a budget diet, which means eating a lot of like crap food. And I don't just mean like like candy and stuff like that. I mean like fast food, microwave dinners. Like when you're on an extreme budget, there's not a lot you can buy. And it really does hurt your health. Once I get a job and stuff, well, hopefully things get better. I believe I just seen bananas down here. There's the feather! Sweet, so now we just gotta get all the bonuses done, and I know where the last bonus is. Oh, I actually did manage to get those bananas. I honestly didn't think I would. And yeah, the exclamation barrels, once again, like Donkey Kong Country 3, are invincibility barrels. I believe it was that way in Donkey Kong Country 1 as well, or there might not have been invincibility at all in that game. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember, honestly. I remember this game and Donkey Kong Country 3 the most. Which is kind of weird that I do. And that one up is- oh, there's three banana coins there. Cool. Alright, with that, let's leave. We get to do our first water level, known as Lockjaw's Locker. Now just hug the right and you can get some secrets. Two coins and a banana and... This guy always gets me in this game. I don't know why, but he always tends to hit me. Coin, coin. Now what you do is just go over here. This triggers the water to come up. Can you get out of the little crevice there? Thank you. Oh, come on! Wait, why am I not allowed to go down there? Okay, apparently it's not letting me go down to where the secret is. I know there's the secret down there. Ah, uh, these weird, goopy, manta ray looking guys, their name is Flotsam. And I believe they're... maybe an eel? I'm not entirely sure what they actually are. Now, Guard has the same ability as Rambi, it says push R. Did not know that actually said R as a kid, I thought it was just like a, an A, I'm like, it's not the A button. Or actually, it might have been A on the uh, SNES, I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, be it took me years to beat Toxic Tower, or whatever, Toxic Terror, whatever that level was where like the water would rise and kill you in the final world, well, second final world of the game. And once I beat that, I was like a god of Donkey Kong. Like, I always rubbed it in my parents' face that I beat it, and they didn't. But then they're like, oh no, we beat it too, and yet they never actually beat it. My parents actually rarely ever sit down and play games. Like, they used to play them a lot, but now it's just like, it causes them more stress than good. Like, my dad occasionally plays World of Warcraft, he used to play Call of Duty, he did play Hitman as well. He does still play World of Warcraft, he wants to get back into designing comics. And I thought, well, that's a cool idea. I really love comics, I've been collecting lots of them lately. Oh, in this game you can't cheat it! Come on, just push select to get up. Could've got a 1-up if you could've got him on here. We're not gonna get that 1-up anytime soon. I believe Donkey Kong Land 2 uses this music a lot. Like, I mean, this soundtrack is overused. Hey, Sherry the Shuriken. Well, actually, you're a starfish, but you're a, a shuriken starfish. You gotta collect me some beautiful goodies here. I don't believe there's anything in here that we need. I believe if we come up here, there's the letter G. And I believe if we hold this. Yeah, down here's the DK coin. That, we did pretty good. Woo. That. Let's grab another one up! There, now we should have 100% here as well. Yep. So, let's go Swanky. We'll do him later. Uh, I don't really have that much time to record today, so let's do Top Sail Trouble. Like, I will be getting 100% on this game. 
all bonuses, all levels. This game I can do a lot easier than Donkey Kong Country 3. Except for the gold feathers, but the gold feathers I believe are not for 100% completion. At least not in the main game, but I will go and get them. And if I don't necessarily get them in a level, or I, you know, like I don't, uh, um, like beat the challenge to get it, I will do it off screen as long as I showcase it to you guys. Or I'll meet you at the point where, like, you know, I had to get to to get them. Have, like a recap episode of that stuff happens. I believe there's only like one or two levels that I have a hard time finding the gold feathers on, just because I always forget where they're located. I believe one of them is in World 2. Like in the Lava Lagoon level. Yeah, Lava World is second. Go figure, eh? Sounds a little, like, crazy for being World 2, but... Yay! Okay, you know... Woohoo! Ah, just one coin. I'm fine with that. Hey, give me another coin anyway. Man, I swear Dixie's beaten every level because Diddy seems to just die on me every time we do something. Darn, buddy. Gold feather! Yay! Not very hard to get, is it? Do you guys want to see the movie Cure for Wellness? It's coming to theater soon and I really, really want to see that. That looks absolutely amazing. Like, me and my girlfriend, by the title of it, thought it was going to be crap. Turns out that it looks really amazing. Oh, by the way, the bee's names are Zinger. Yeah, there's Zinger in every Donkey Kong Country game in the universe. Except for Donkey Kong Country 3. They're buzzers. Now, just do this and go back in. I like how the coins fall in this game. They actually added that. That's actually a new feature. Like, the coins falling. It looks really pretty, too. I really enjoyed it. It's a nice touch. And I thought they could have added it in the SNES version. Like, it's funny that they even added it in this version. It doesn't really seem like something you'd see in, like, a, a, a Game Boy remake. Because, you know, Game Boys are less powerful than the actual console. But, surprisingly, not so much. And I believe in the original, you had to have either had to glide over to get it, or you had to throw your buddy up. I'm not sure on that, but I believe that's how it was. Now, for this, you know that. You can get a 3 up balloon over here. Already bring us to 28 lives in World 2. One. No. Gotta actually do this right, so we gotta wait for the next coin. And jump. No, see, it still does it. You don't get enough dist or enough height in this. But anyways, that's 100 percent And then that just leaves the boss of the world known as Crow's Nest. Now I actually recommend uh, No, Dixie's fine for this one. For the next boss, though, on the other hand, I recommend you using Kitty, or, uh, Diddy, pardon me, as your, like, main source of attacking. Just because Dixie has a delayed throw and is above her head, which means for this boss, you can hit him from up above. Like, while he's up above your head. But the next boss, it's a little hard to do that because he comes at you at a different angle. And while he's being hit, you can bounce off of him and not take damage. It takes four hits to kill, and for the second half of the battle, he's going to just randomly send out eggs, and you hope for one to land on the ground and stay. Generally, every three to six eggs, one will stay. Man, it even shatters. Like, doo. Bum, bum. Dun, 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 dun. Sometimes it's literally the first egg. You're lucky if it's the first egg. Generally, it falls out towards the middle. See? Three eggs, nothing. And then the fourth egg. Can you get down here? I don't know why he was hanging up there so much. Hey, there goes the spirit! Oh, cranky. Well done! You sure showed that, feather freak! I can't wait to see how you get on in Crocodile Cauldron. Go on then, go! What are you waiting for? And we did it. So, in the next episode, we'll be going to Crocodile Cauldron, aka World 2 of this game, and doing the first level known as Hothead Hop. Peace out, like, comment, and subscribe.